In the last video I talked about these ECM motors and mostly what was good about them. And there was plenty of stuff that was good. Very adaptable motor, uh, uses less power on the low speeds and so on. Now there's the bad. The worst thing about these things is the cost. Uh, here's an end bell right here. This thing lists out for about five hundred dollars. End bell fits right there. If I get the motor and the end bell, it's about a thousand dollars. Well, that's gonna. That's just the parts. Now we got labor too. Because this is not a one trip thing. You can't come out there, well, most of them can't. You can't come out and just uh, have it in your truck because they have to be programmed at the dealer. That's kind of going away now. But, okay, part of the problem with these things is simply some of the service techs really don't know how to work on these. All they know how to do is replace it. And if you talk to the factory, the manufacturer, they're going to tell you to throw them away too. And I talked about this in the last one. Is there's a little part in these things, and I'll show you a picture and picture on this. That uh, little thermistor that fails on them, and they are replaceable. Now maybe the manufacturer doesn't say they're replaceable, but I do. Okay, even if these things are full of epoxy like that. They put epoxy in there to make sure you can't fix them, I guess. Uh, there are a couple of parts on these that are replaceable, especially these here. You could certainly replace the caps, although I've never seen a cap fail. Uh, there's a rectifier that could be replaced too. And that thermistor. The most common one is that thermistor because that's a surge protector. Uh, I've seen a lot of guys that just don't fix them they just don't know what to do and you know if you get into trying to replace the MOSFETs and things like that that's maybe a little different and that's maybe more out of our line but uh, the thermistor and the like that could be replaced so if there's a failure in one of these things and I have never had a motor fail now some of you guys may have but these motors are all soft start and I've just never seen one fail I suppose it could happen but uh, so I've never done anything but replace end bells and mostly uh, they've had some MOSFETs fail well so if you have a failure where this end bell has to be replaced with everything said and done you can put a thousand dollars in the furnace and maybe a little less if you're lucky, but uh, if you do have to replace it, that's a pretty good chunk to put into a furnace that may be anywhere from 10 to 20 years old. Uh, so I'm not real thrilled about that. Now the newer ones, they're telling us that they do not have as many problems with failures as they used to. And that primary problem for the failures was other than the, that thermistor, was uh, we put these things in as an option on ductwork that is not adequate. Ductwork with too high of static pressure. They say, well, I can put this ECM motor on there, it'll power up and it'll move enough air in ductwork that really isn't ready. Uh, it is not really a solution for ductwork failures. Uh, sometimes it's just a question of putting a, another return air in. You know, a lot of these things just didn't have enough return air. Uh, but I would be looking at that if I had a failure in one of these things. I'd take a look and see what the static is on this thing when you put the new one in. Because a new one may fail too. Like I said, some of the new stuff isn't uh, quite as susceptible to those type of failures. One of the things us service techs are going to have to get used to is ECM motors. They are going to be required at all furnaces. So you're going to have to deal with them 
you're going to have to repair them. I would try to find ways to repair these things if you can, if you can safely repair them. But uh, they are going to be here for the long term. I don't see any change in, uh, in what the feds are trying to do with uh, energy conservation. So expect to see these things or something similar to them in the foreseeable future and learn how to fix them. That's it on this one.